you just locate the mirror in there and then the rest of it should just go on <laughs> and that's the door mirror done welcome to another Beetle video this 2007 Volkswagen Beetle convertible and in this video I'm going to be doing something about this this exterior door mirror So during the MOT repairs, you know, one of the failures was the uh, side repeater not working, which it actually was, and it, it did get through the retest like this. So uh, now it's time to, uh, to actually do something about it properly. So first thing I need to do is uh, dissect this this mirror, find out what's up with it exactly. So start pulling it apart. Unfortunately, uh, at some point, this was packed out on the main road and. The mirror got struck by a passing vehicle and the same thing happened on on the other side but fortunately it was just the glass that had broke so let's get this tape peeled off i'll do the rest of this off camera and i'll come back to you when i've got all the tape off so after carefully removing all the tape the only thing that seems to be actually broken is is the side repeater even though it's actually still operational so that's a good do, I can get one of them on eBay, get a genuine VW part for about 30, 40 quid. And the only thing, the only other thing I can see wrong is just cracked. So I should be able to uh, stick that back together with Harold diet. And that should do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get this off without trying to damage it any further. I think the only way is to get the mirror off because uh, the rest of the mirrors work and the whole assembly is fine. There's not wrong with the bracket and, and the uh, the motor still works for adjusting it. So if I can just get this glass off, I think it's just held in by a few a few tabs. I don't need to uh, dismantle the whole thing. Just get the, if I can get the glass off, I should be able to get this this uh, cover off. Uh, so I'll I'll do that. I'll do that off camera. That like says I think it's just a few tabs to to get that off so I'll get that get that off and once that's off I can take it in shed and we'll get busy with the adult diet again I also found this part which is a which is part of the trim I did look I was looking on the the parts diagram I found a parts diagram online and this is this is part this is part of the of the trim not sure how that goes but we'll just get this apart I'll get that done off camera so I managed to get the glass off, uh, I had to use a pick to push the tabs back, I had to be careful, I didn't want to end up breaking the tabs. So the glass is off, so this bit of the mirror is alright. So what I'll do is I'll join in the shed when I try to repair that mirror cover, which should be quite easy to do. It's time for the arrow light again. Oh, and be be just before that, I'll just show you something else now. The interior lights didn't work, so I was here trying trying to pull them out. I broke them, but these, these are special ones. So I think I'll look on eBay see if I can find any bulbs, and I can get that get this interior light sorted out as well. So without any further ado, go to the shed. So back in the shed. Uh, I've tried to clean this up as best I can and the good news is it's complete. There's no there's no parts missing, it's just cracked in a few places. So with that, it's back on the arrow diet. So I'll just uh so I think I better clean this scraper off. Still old arrow diet on from when I, I fixed the door handle. So just scrape off remnants of arrow diet from Front last repair. And then just got the knife with me for a, for a change. Right, so it's the same story as before, and 
So look, I've got, got some masking tape to hand, I'll need to hold it together. So I might need, might need a bit more this time. So there we go. That's one part. And there's the other part. There's about as much of a if I remember right it's it's fifty fifty is our old diet. Great stuff it worked it worked with with door handle that's still holding up. So it just give us a good mix. Make sure it's a nice even colour. Give it a good mix. So I don't know if this is gonna work out it's maybe a bit awkward to do but I'm gonna just spread it on. Not been mixed enough. Uh, if I have to I'll mix up some more. I don't know whether you can see that. Looks like I've made enough on, on this occasion. Yep, I think I've mixed up enough. I'll get it all over. Which, so just join, join the parts together. Wipe off the excess. Should be able to scrape off any excess once it once it's set. So I'll just get some masking tape, just hold it together till till the stuff dries. I think what I'll do as well, just to give it just to give the bond a bit more strength, just Some adhesive in on the back of the on the back of the repair just to give it a bit of strength. But this side didn't seem to fade quite as well. Let's have a look. Yep. Uh, yeah, probably best having a, a little bit of excess on on that side. Again, I need to uh, get a bit of a masking tape on here, just hold it in place. that should hold it there we go because it's a uh, it actually it weakened there so let's see if I've got any left just put some in there it was, it was starting to let go that that side so just just put a bit put a bit in there just to give it a bit more strength. So that's a nice a nice clean join. And just just leave that overnight. Oh well whenever I come back to it. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna get, go on to eBay, I'm gonna order one of these. I've seen I've seen them on eBay. I can get them for about thirty five and forty quid. It's li listed as a genuine VW part. 
But the, the funny, strange thing about this is it, it was still working. It got through an MOT, so it was still it, electrically it was still fine. But you know the actual lens bit is broken. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Um, I'll get on to e eBay. So it's quite a number of days later. I can't remember how long. Uh, I managed to clean it up and got rid of the excess arrow die. I've just tried it on the door. Clips in perfectly. I'm still waiting on the the side repeat. I've ordered that on eBay. So, and I'll tell you what I did to get this as clean as it, it did, because when you saw it before, it all got your tape residue from ducting tape that had been used to hold it together. I actually used WD-40, so it does have its uses. I'll, I'll clean this bit of trim. I'll just show you where it where it goes. It fits fits on the inside there of the of the of the light. I'll just uh, clean that up. I've just tested this on the car. It just it just clips in. There's just that tab there. You just push it in, and it locates. So that's fine. I did I did test it, and I didn't bother to film it. But never mind. So clean this bit. Then it's all. Once I've got that side repeater. I'll be ready to go in. So, like I said, it clipped into place. This plastic trim that that clipped in as well. It'll all be easy to to undo. I thought I'll leave it in place and just wait until the, the side repeater comes in. Just take it all off and fit it in. Put it all back together. And I did try cleaning the uh, the tape residue off. It's not got it all off, so I'll just keep at it. Leave that let that soak. Um, as you can see, it's nearly as good as new. Uh, just give these a uh, give everything a douse and just to drive all water out because we've had wind, rain, and snow. So what we'll do while I'm here, let's see if I can test it. Uh, I had to jump start it because battery went because went battery went down. So just see, yep, this work it's a bit slow, but I suspect water might go into the same motor. So using WD-40 for its intended purpose, just move it, move it about, free it off. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. It's all it's all functioning electrically. That's all fine. It was a bit slow before, but that's it's got it's got plenty of WD-40 on that will keep any moisture out. So when the new side repeater comes, I can put it all back together again. But I thought I'd get the get the cover on just to protect the uh, the mirror from the worst of the weather. So the parts finally turned up that like I'd ordered on eBay. There it is. There's a genuine uh, VW. It's a genuine VW part, so I'm done unboxing while I'm here. And there we go, that's what that's what it should look like. Not unlike this broken thing. And I've unclipped the the door mirror cover off this one, so I'll need a small Phillips screwdriver. found. It's uh, lucky it didn't do any damage to the casing so it's just secured on by one screw. So this slots in, I'll show you it, it just just slots in like like so. So you can see you can see where it where it fits and then we just pop pop the screw on. I thought I'd do this bit indoor because it's raining at the moment, that's why I'm in the shed. So that's that's the screw secure, there we go. We have one side, one side repeater fitted. 
So I need to go outside, I need to find a, a suitable torque screw and I can uh, reassemble the old mirror. So I'm back out of the car. So before I uh, secure all this, let's see which way does this go. I need to plug in the door, the side repeater. Doing it with one hand, but there we go, that might help. Set it. Right, I have to slide it off the connector, put that on, on there. So that connector is secure, yep. Yeah. So the Door mirror covers on, just get this piece of trim which just clips in like so. There we go, that's all that's all securely clipped in. So next job is the motor. Now on this you can see it says top so it's impossible to get it wrong and also the connector goes in one way. So apologies for the funky camera angle. Just clip that in. Um, that go that goes in only goes in one way because it says top there. That's about right. Yep, all the tabs that it locates and I just grab the screws. So on to all the camera under under my armpit, otherwise you won't. You won't be able to see things. I know she's got the she's got the head cam or something. These are t the three T ten screws that secure it in. So I'll just get them started. No, I didn't forget to. I forgot anything. Let's have a look. Have I got that in right? No, it's not. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Take that out. No, oh, that one's in right. I just, just need to uh, secure it in a bit further down. Yep, we've got two in. Then this last screw. You always get your screws started before you commit yourself. There we go, and then, and then you can tighten them down. Uh, just do them up gently, you don't have to go crazy tight. Yep. Yep, that's secured. Now for the the mirror. So, because this is a heated mirror, I need to uh, plug the connections in. So, as a technique, you see that clip there. You just locate the mirror in there and then the rest of it should just go on <laughs> and that's the door mirror done so I'll just test it all, I'll fire it up put on the right indicator there we go all working oops so uh, just make sure it's all working. Yep, adjustment's working. I've got up and down. And 
and left to right. So, all sorted, all fixed. I'm pleased with how that's gone. So, that's the end of this video. As ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.